Hey guys, Speedy here with Glitter Valkyrie. Hi everybody. We're here to piss everybody off today with our garbage takes on resplendent <laughs> art for Fire Emblem Heroes characters. A lot of bad takes. Yeah, I mean, Glitter and I both love the art in Fire Emblem Heroes, as many of many people do. You know, that's a dumb thing to say. But I just want to make it clear that this is just our opinion of how we feel about these resplendents mm -hmm. and that we 100% respect every single one of these artists. They have more talent than we could ever hope to have. I can't even do a stick figure. So they're all like way top tier compared to me. You've seen my scribble videos, guys. It's not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Glitter, I think we're just gonna go through every resplendent that has been added to this mm -hmm. date. You know, doing something like this, it's just gonna get outdated super fast, so mm -hmm. good luck. But this is, we're just gonna talk about the ones that are already in the game. Yeah. Are we just basing these off of whether or not we like the art? Is that is that it? I think we should base it off a couple of things. Um, mm -hmm. How much we like the art. If we like the character's design, mm -hmm. like one of the Fae-inspired designs. Yes. If we think it's an upgrade from the original, because I think that's yeah. important. I think maybe that's it. I think that's what I would consider. Okay. So we're not basing this at all off of power level at all. This is all aesthetics. No, it's 100% aesthetic. Because Perfect. that's what Resplendent should be. They shouldn't even give stats. <laughs> it just but it's be, nice. We appreciate it. Don't take it we away. We appreciate it, but you know, maybe Reinhardt didn't need the extra two attack guys. I'm just saying. No, no, he didn't. All right, so we're starting with Lynn. Do you want to say whether or not we, we use that skin on our? Yeah, I mean, I made a ones. Twitter post like a couple months, like a month ago or something, thinking <sighs> that people would have similar taste to me. But a lot of people just keep all the resplendents on, except Lucina. Oh. Seems they don't like Lucina. But... <laughs> all right, so we got Lynn here. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Glitter? How do you feel about the Lynn Resplendent? I think it's beautiful. I Yeah, I love the outfit. I think compared mm -hmm. to her base art, it's a huge step up just in terms of art style. I also just love her attack pose. Like, it's 100% mm -hmm. it's gorgeous. I like her original art, but this is just so fancy and it incorporates Niffle well with, like, not hitting it over your head. I just like it. So I, I did like the original art when it first mm -hmm. came out. Yeah. But something about Yamato Kotaro's style doesn't really... Now that I've seen Lin drawn by like various artists, mm -hmm. I don't know. I just don't know if it exactly fits her, but that's just my bias. Mm. So I'm really happy with this Resplendent. I would consider this probably like an A or S tier. I would say A tier. We could always change these later, Glitter. Yes. Um, but yes, I think A tier is fair for our fair Lady Lin. Anything, anything else you want to say, or do you use this um, one? I, I use this resplendent form on mine, like the attire. I do too, yeah. I gotta say. I think it's a big step up, personally. Mm -hmm. A tier for Lynn. Next is Cordelia. S tier. S tier, <laughs> listen, like we said at the beginning of the, vi beginning of the video, we respect yeah. all of the artists. Yes. But like base, base Cordelia felt so flat. Mm -hmm. It didn't capture her. Yeah, her attack pose was pretty good. But, like, the, just the base portrait, something about mm -hmm. it just didn't have the kind of, like, I don't want to say vigor, because she's in the same pose pretty much, but she feels yeah. more lively in the Resplendent. Yes. And, like, these, the attack pose and the special pose are perfect. Even the damaged art I like a lot. They got our girl right. They did it. Yeah, I'm so happy they started with Cordelia, because she was, I think she is what sold a lot of people on the Fae Pass, because they were Agreed. like, we can... We could make Cordelia better? Yes. I 100% use this Resplendent art, as you Me do, I'm pretty too. sure. Good. Yes. Okay, so we're going to agree this is an S tier. Yes. And uh, love the outfit. The Asker outfit fits very well for Cordelia just already. Ike is next. What do you think? I think that his base art by Mecha, you know, it's not perfect. Mm-hmm. Because it does look a little, like, cartoony, but I just, something about it just, it feels really good. Because he still feels like Path of Radiance, like, you know? He's like yes. a young fletchling. And with this art, it's, like, got the same kind of energy. He's, like, in the mid-phase between young and adult, like. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Am I crazy? Yeah, no, I I love the art. I, I like the colors. And he's he's Moose Bell, correct? I believe this is Moose Spell, yes. I appreciate that they didn't overdo it, like have flames shooting everywhere. I feel like it's subtle, <laughs> <laughs> and it's really pretty, and it captures the essence of Ike. Yes, but 
I do use this one over the base art. I do think it's an improvement. Mm -hmm. But I think I prefer the design of base psych more. Mm. Something about the black and gold is just like a little too much for me. Okay. I, you could disagree. This is just how I feel. No, but, um, I, I really like it, but I don't know what tier I would put him in. I would say B, because I'm looking at his attack pose right now. So mm -hmm. many of the poses look really dynamic, and this one just looks so stiff to me. Mm. Do you see what I'm seeing? Or Yeah, I'm I'm okay with B. I'm sorry, Tacho. <laughs> Tacho, don't watch. <laughs> go go away. So <laughs> Does Tacho <laughs> love this resplendent art? I know he loves Ike. I don't know, but I associate Ike with Tacho. Yeah, same. If you ever talk trash about Ike, you talk trash about Tacha. So you can't. But no one talks trash about Ike. <laughs> Next. One of the biggest biggest glow-ups in the game. Do you know who it is? Yes, Sophia. Oh, you know who I'm talking about right away. Yes. Sophia. So much better. A hundred percent improvement. And it's such a good translation from her sprite to Faye. I should build her. She has a pretty <laughs> decent tome, too. I feel like you're going to hear that a lot. This art compared to her base art, no offense again, but I think a lot of people agreed that Sophia's base art was one of mm -hmm. the least favorite in the base, like, Fey yeah. package. Absolutely gorgeous. I want to give this an A or an S tier. At least top of A. Yes, I think I agree there. I'm glad, you know, we have the same opinions, I guess. Uh, we might have some different ones later Ooh. on. Ooh. Yeah. But I definitely use this resplendent over the base. Yeah. Next up... Azura with the creepy smile. Oh, Azura. I want to like her. Do you ever see Azura smiling? I don't know. She's, I mean, she's sad. She's supposed to be sad. She's thinking about the gray waves. <laughs> you know, I love, I love her base art. And I love yes. the outfit in the resplendent. But her face and her, look how tiny that hand is. She's just got demure hands. No, look at how, look at her hand. How could she pick anything up? Guys like tiny hands. Okay. <laughs> I'm there, I don't know. There's tiny hands, and then there's like, you know, the tiny hands you can buy on Amazon and put on a stick and scare people with? <laughs> okay, this is where the dislikes start pouring in. Uh, Azura, I mean, compared to her base art. But the outfit's gorgeous. I still, yeah, I love the outfit, um, even more than her base design. I, I don't like Azura's base outfit that much. Oh, really? I don't know. Something about it's just like, ugh. Maybe it's Vala. They need to wear <laughs> shoes or something. I, I do think this outfit is much more tasteful. I love the wing design on her sleeve. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. that's awesome. I mean, I like the attack pose much better than the base pose. Like her face. There's something about the smile that like creeps me out. <laughs> yes. Know. It's very unsettling. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But the attack art looks really good. And um, I love the special. It's really beautiful. Even though you're probably never going to see Azura do a special. I would consider this probably a, a B or a high C. I think, yeah, either one I'm fine with. Are you? I'm sad about it, but it's unsettling. I still use this over the base or the base art, you know? Let's go bottom of B. Yeah, I do too, and I don't know why. Uh, it's it's the face. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. So the outfit's gorgeous. The outfit's gorgeous, and if she had her attack pose as her base art, I would, I would mm -hmm. use her uh, more. This next one's easy. All right, very easy. This Elwood is S tier. They they the biggest glow up. No offense, but this this was the biggest glow up in the game. Because <laughs> base Elwood's art just looked so out of place. Not the mm -hmm. the artist is very talented, but compared to all the anime esque styles that the rest of the artists have, he just felt like yes. a, a bit of a mutant with the proportions yes. he had. Those eyes. Yeah, the eyes are something. I love the outfit for this Elwood. It actually kind of fits the ending of Fe Seven where he wears the mm -hmm. white. It's so handsome. I love it. Extremely. Yeah, I think... Do we put this above Cordelia? I think I might. I would, yeah. honestly. That's a really good one. Even when I pulled the old one, it wouldn't be like, ugh. But <laughs> <laughs> that's how I felt every time I pulled <laughs> old Elwood. People have asked me, you know, on my Summoner's dual scoring chart? Yeah. They're like, please update the Elwood to the Resplendent one. And I'm like, no, I'm too lazy. <laughs> but <laughs> this is how he should have been. Okay, next. Hector. Oh, Love it. Do you? Because I don't. Really? I think this is where we're going to start to disagree. <gasps> Controversy. Okay. Yes. This Hector, something about like the shape of his face looks really off to me. Really? Yeah. Okay. Am I crazy? And like, look at his hand poses. Like it's so, like his arm, the way his arm is, it's like bending mm -hmm. backwards. It's not like it's straight down. I, I see what you're saying. I just like, I just enjoy this art. 
and I don't particularly enjoy his base art. So it yeah, felt like same. a bit of an upgrade for me. I also like the color scheme. I, I like the cape, but there's a lot of saturation going on. <laughs> very very yeah. bright colors. But um, yeah, I, I just, it is an upgrade from the base art because mm -hmm. um, I think Akira did the, the art. Yeah. He did like Raven and Olivia in that style. And yeah. the, the later pieces that Akira have done, I've enjoyed more. Like I feel like he, it's not that they were bad, but they just didn't fit in with the rest of the cast. Yes. But he has gotten, he or she, I don't know what they are. But um, they've gotten better at like still giving it their own unique style and fitting mm -hmm. in with the rest of the cast. Like, like Flying Olivia is gorgeous. Flying Olivia. Perfect. I was going to say, Flying Olivia is a great style for this artist. Like, look at this attack pose. Like, doesn't this look off to you? Like his face. Yeah, I can... The attack pose, the face looks a little different. I'm okay with B. I love the lightning and the fire in the special yes. pose, though. That's really cool. Yeah. And then damage pose is, you know, it's fine. It's I think fine. it's good. Yeah. It's, it's still an upgrade. Upgrade, yes, for sure. Uh, but yeah, to me, he just, I know no one else is going to see this because I'm a really weird guy. But um, <laughs> do you know that like Doge Shiba Inu? What? The, the Shiba Inu Doge. Oh, yes. I just like see his like confused yeah. face. Yeah. <laughs> Like, uh, I don't know. There's something about like the way his face is shaped. Oh my like... gosh. <laughs> I might just be crazy though. I am going to be putting Hector bottom of B because it is still an upgrade. I still use this over the base Hector. Me too. Let's move along to Sonicky. Snacky. I love this art. Love her. Yeah, who was the artist for this? Because it really does feel like... Um... Yamada Kotaro. This was Yamada Kotaro? I was going to say this feels like Kita Senri. It does kind of feel like Kita Senri, but it's, it's beautiful art. I love it. But I also didn't have an issue with her initial art. Look at her giant hand reaching out to you in the base art. Oh, this one. Yeah. <laughs> like the perspective. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I think this is still an upgrade from the base art. I, I didn't have a problem with this base art, but I think the resplendent is an upgrade. I also really love the special pose. Um, Gorgeous. The fire... The, like the mana circle be below mm -hmm. her is like amazing mm -hmm. very dynamic pose uh the damage pose looks like she's getting kicked in the face and she doesn't like it Aww. um <laughs> so i think they did a good job <laughs> uh yeah no i i really like this resplendent okay so i want to put this at top of a or bottom of s for me but it's up to you uh i would put it in a okay not feeling it are you uh below lynn uh no i'd put her above lynn what about sophia Oh, Sophia was just such an upgrade. It's hard. I'm fine leaving her here. I think okay, that's perfect. good. Okay. I'm glad mm -hmm. we can agree and not rip each other's throats out. We're not going to agree on this next one. Oh, this one's going to get me canceled. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> there was a big controversy with another popular Fire Emblem YouTuber. Let's, let's cut that out. <laughs> no, I, wanna, I just want to mention it. Maybe I'll cut it out if it gets bad. We're not going to agree on this. I love this artist. This is this is the artist that did Subasa. Azutaro. And like legendary Lilina. Love it. But I am not the biggest fan of the colors that were chosen for Roy. I just don't I don't think Niffle really fits him. I think it does because his mother is an ice dragon. It's just the red hair. It's it's such a clash. I don't know. <laughs> like, I know he wears I know he wears dark blue. No, but I love the con the contrast of the blue against his hair. I love like the soft lines. I love the pastels. He looks earnest. He looks like he wants to do good. I love him. Okay. I just I know this this sounds like I'm just making excuses. Did you want to just because put him in D? No, 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 no. <laughs> let me let me defend myself. So okay. I know he wears dark blue and gold in his base mm -hmm. art, like his base design. But I just feel like with such a bright color, like his red flaming hair, the dark blue was a much better backdrop. So this just feels mm -hmm. like a, it's like out of place with the soft gold, the the turquoise and the white. Mm -hmm. I just feel like with the gold and the blue, I know his pants were white too. Something mm -hmm. about this just doesn't. I like the base Roy better than this. I like his one. base art actually. Me too. But I, I am one of the few people that enjoys his resplendent. I love that damage pose too. That's mm -hmm. like a Smash Bros. <laughs> like that's something he would do <laughs> in Smash Bros. Okay. Yeah, I'm still gonna stand behind my colors. I prefer the color scheme on the original. Yeah. But um, you know, gorgeous art. I'm willing to go beat bottom of bottom of or you know what? Above Azura. Oh, I don't know how you okay. Feel. Yeah. I'm surprised. Okay. I don't hate it. 
Okay, next one. We're definitely going to disagree about this one. Are we? I don't Maybe. know. Do you like this? Do you like Lin's Resplendent? I do. I don't know how I feel about the horns, but I'm a little biased because Kipu is one of my favorite Fey artists. That's a good point. K Kipu's like a weird case for me because mm -hmm. I love their art, but it's another one where it's like this character would look a little bit better in a standard style to me. Mm. Like, I love Kipu's Alincia. Yes, but, me too. Uh, but like Resplendent and Alincia is such a better representation of her and same with Lind like I feel like this is a much better representation of Lind than Kipu's rendition where she looks like really young even younger than here <laughs> I don't know yeah yeah this is a tough one I do use this resplendent over the original I do too I just the, the pink is nice and it's textbook Lind but the the white and the gold look so good yeah. on her with the brown hair mm -hmm. um, I love this outfit and I think the art's great yeah, I like this art a lot, though. Um, I do have a really high-merged Lind, thanks mm -hmm. to four-star special heroes, and I'm hoping one day I can really deck her out. That'd be amazing. Even though her refine has kind of become outdated. Well... I want to put this in A-tier glitter, like okay. above Lin. I agree. For me. Maybe even above Sanaki. Really? Yeah, I think so. Okay. But if you disagree, we could... No, uh... that's fine. No, stand your ground. No, I, I have other hills to die on. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Let's go to Minerva. Oh. This is going to be controversial. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like Minerva's base art. I don't like um, either one. I don't like either one either. <laughs> so that's the, maybe, it's, maybe it's a problem with Minerva herself. I don't know. I don't know. I felt like her summer, or no, it was spring. Spring was better. Yes. You know, I, t I do like spring Minerva a lot, but... I don't like it. The colors are just everywhere and it's too much a lot of red and orange and purple and it it goes everywhere this, you know that her special pose is really beautiful i do love it like the effect they put on the weapon mm -hmm. that's okay i actually don't mind the damaged art you think this is okay it's okay i i like the pose i think it's a really good really good uh damage i don't pose. know but this is the face i always see and i'm just like mm. <laughs> i just when i see these colors i just get a little repulsed <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I don't but know. I, she's a cool character, and I feel like she still hasn't had art to do to really do her justice. She's the she's like the mother of the archetype that I like a lot. <laughs> you yeah. know, that's just me. I don't know. I use this one over the original though. I do too. I'm willing to put this one in C tier. Agreed. Okay. Sorry, Minerva fans. I'm sorry. We like Minerva as a character. Absolutely. We just prefer different art. Next. Oh, I hope we feel the same way about this one. Who's next? Jelly Robin. I use the regular art. I use the regular art too. I don't like. I don't like this Robin. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think it, is it his face? It's the it's the stupid neck piece. I hate the neck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's come out, guys. I hate turtlenecks. I think I'm they look sorry. dumb. No, it's okay. If do you wear turtlenecks? No. Okay. It's the face. I get that this is supposed to be Hell Robin, so it's kind of like yeah. he, his evil version of him from the other universe. But uh, yeah, I much prefer the confused and lost Robin who woke up in a field. Yes, he's sweet. I like his regular art. Yeah, and I know you can't see his bones here, mm -hmm. but you know I still call him Jelly Robin. Well, he has no bones. Listen, Thrasir <laughs> and Leaf. They were jelly and it worked for them because that was yes. what they were. But yes. it's really offsetting to see other characters made of jelly. Mm -hmm. And I'm only saying they're made of jelly. It's because there's like a light source coming from his abdomen. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, the combination of the shit-eating shit grin <laughs> on the face <laughs> art and his outfit oh being less preferable, I'm going to say this is one of my lesser favorite respondents Agreed. and maybe bottom of C. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's going to upset people that we've done this, but yes, we have to be truthful. It's okay, guys. Our our careers on YouTube are almost over anyway, so you could dislike <laughs> if you want. Okay, Owen. Owen, I love her. Love this, this is art. great art. It's gorgeous. I love her base art, though, a lot, too, because Kyubun is just yeah. a magical man. I think, even though I said I like original designs, I love this color scheme on Owen. Yes. I think it works so nicely, the white, red, and gold. It's beautiful. And also, girlfriend really need the, needed the stats. She really did. <laughs> Zero times two. So this was a case where it was good that she got extra stats. But her brother maybe didn't need. Yeah. You know, I didn't really look at this attack pose, but she's really packing. Thank you. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. 
<laughs> uh, they really put a lot of emphasis there. You know, I'm not a big fan of the attack and the damage pose. Really? Yeah, I don't, but I love the base pose. I think she's beautiful. I love her. So I think this is one of the maybe top of B, bottom of A for me. I'd say bottom of A. Okay. Yeah, I think still below Lin for me. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we agree. And we both use this resplendent. Yes. Um, This one's going to break some hearts. Oh, boy. Farika. Uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have a uh, person who is a regular to both our channels named Erica. Yes, we love you, Erica. And <laughs> she, she really likes Erica. But yes. um, I, number one, I think Erica's original art is perfect. Agreed. So it didn't need mm -hmm. a new rendition. Yes. Okay, how do you say it? Lucifer? Low self hamer? Low self hamer. Yes. I love the uh, aesthetic of Low Self Hamer. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it necessarily fits. You'll see that I don't really use any of the Low Self Hamer resplendence. I don't think I use a single one besides Alincia. It's very hit or miss for me. The colors, again, do you remember those uh, toys where you would like pull a cord and then a fairy would like fly and go like. Sky dancers? Yes. Sky dancers. I just yes. see a sky dancer here. They really like babied up her face. That's the whole thing for me, her face. She looks like a Barbie doll mm -hmm. um, to me. So I definitely prefer base Erica. I think Agreed. it does her much more justice, mm -hmm. but it's cute. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of the colors, but I like the outfit. Yeah, there's not a lot of contrast mm -hmm. with her hair. Like, I, f I just feel like the base art is so beautiful, so detailed and well done. It actually yeah. feels like a five star. <laughs> it does. I was so surprised she was demoted. I'm still upset about that. <laughs> that was when I. That was the first time I spent because I was like, I need to get Erica before she goes away. And they're like yes. four star. But yes, this Erica, I definitely prefer the base. I think it's perfect. I use the base. I would give this a low B, maybe even top of C. I think low B is okay. Below Hector. Yes. Okay. New controversial pick. Oh boy. Do you know who it is? Um, Alm. Alm. Um, I don't like this art. Why is he twelve? His face, he's got the baby face. Ugh, it's really good art otherwise. Yeah, I, I love the shading. It feels very real. Mm -hmm. But um, something about just like the face. I like other versions of Alm. Yeah. Maybe not. I, I, I don't know if I prefer the base Alm compared to this. What, how do you feel about that? I actually, I adore his base art. Okay. I love his face. They, they captured him. I don't know. I just think it's gorgeous. And I immediately turned off the resplendent when I got this yes, one. Yes. This is more of a, like, it's still good, but we prefer the original. Mm-hmm. I prefer adult Alm. He does look more mature in the original. Yeah. I'm going to say I like the original better, too. Uh, I'm willing to put this below Erica, I would say. Oh, you're putting him in B? Okay. Do you want to put him in C? Because I'm down. I would. I was being nice. <laughs> I guess I'm being not nice. I'm putting him above Minerva, though. I agree. Yeah. That's fine. Mm-hmm. We got Creepy Julia. Oh. Do you like this art? It's an improvement, I think. I think I agree, too. Just because, listen, I'm not like an art person, mm -hmm. but I, it feels like a painting. It does. Like it, the brush strokes. Like, they, it, I really love it. Mm -hmm. But something about her eyes just makes, she feels really creepy. She's like an inbred demon child. And Aww. it's just like, Wah! Well, I, I did not like her base art at all. Oh, really? Yeah. So do you feel the same way about Deirdre? Because yep. I think it was the same artist. Girl deserves a resplendent, like yesterday. Yeah. Besides the eyes, let me maybe her other poses. I I think that her special pose actually is fantastic in um, the resplendent. It's really cool. Oh, so you got like Naga there too. Yeah, isn't that cool? Wow, that that's amazing. You know, I never really get to look at these special poses too closely because they flash on the screen for one second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and even this damage pose is really nice too. Yeah, it's the face is a little creepy there, but still. It's still an improvement. I love the light in her eyes. Yeah. But yeah, this pose where she's just like curtsying, I don't know how she's I feel. She's cute. <laughs> I do use this resplendent, I believe, over I the do original. Too. I do. Uh, I think I put it above Roy and below Ike, but I don't know where you feel, if you want to put her higher. Um, no, I think that that's reasonable. Okay, Jelly Takumi. Takumit. There's another case where I just uh, don't really like it that much. I don't like either one, honestly. You don't like base Takami? Eh, it's okay. Do you remember the five stars came with animations, like the base eight that we got? Well, I do remember that, but I never pulled a Takumi when oh. that was active, so I never got to see it. 
It's one of the better ones. It's so epic. Because mm. it, it's, I agree with you, base Takumi's art feels really weird. Yeah. But um, when you see it in motion in that mm -hmm. picture, it feels so good. I'll show it yeah. on the screen here. But like, it, it looks so good. But um, yeah, I definitely use base Takumi over jelly Takumi. Yeah. I don't really know what reason it is besides just like the, the art style. It just, um, I think his eyes are like really big here. Uh, the, eyes about are, it. the eyes definitely throw me. Yeah. This is good. That's his pretty attack good. pose. Damaged art, eh, does nothing for me. It's not bad. He, you could see the anger in his eyes. He's such an angry pineapple. <laughs> Very angry. But yeah, I hate turtlenecks. Turtlenecks, automatic D tier. <laughs> it's going down. Excuse me. Eldigan. Who has a turtleneck? Eldigan. Who? Does he have a turtleneck? Sort of. Okay, so Takumi, I'm willing to put above Minerva. Agreed. I don't know if you want to go lower. No, that's good. Do you use this one over base? Do you have a TikTokami or do you not I even care I don't know if about... I kept mine alive. <laughs> you might have just given up. <laughs> Close given counter is very, very valuable still. <laughs> this is the most controversial one that we're going to get. Sheeta? Sheeta. I love them both, honestly. I, I hate this art so much. What? I'm just kidding. I think this is an S tier. <laughs> I, I, lo I love this resplendence. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think this is one of the best done resplendence. Yeah. And I would put this... If it wasn't for base Ellawood... Mm -hmm. I would put this above Ellawood. And you can't put it above Ellawood. Just be just because Hako is such a fantastic artist, and I feel like they really captured her initially with her art. Yeah, I really do like Beishida's art too, but I, this one's just... It fits better for her, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's really cute. I mean, it's... it's kind really of pretty. Plain, yeah, I love the ice shattering mm -hmm. with this one. Hako's was nice, but um, it's very uh -huh. plain. It is. Her special is just a sword swing. Now you got like an ice shattering. It's so nice. Yeah. And I love the colors. The pink, the light blue, and the white. It fits so well. This is... If Roy had blue hair, I think I would love this color scheme much <laughs> better. <laughs> but the bright red just throws me off. Mm. So Sheeta, I'm going to put her above Cordelia. I don't know about oh, you. Oh boy. How do you feel? I'm fine with that. I love Sheeta, so... Yeah. I, I think I do that. I think I put Sheeta above Cordelia. And if this was my list without glitter here, don't tell anyone, but I would even put her above Eloise. <laughs> But uh, we, we could put her He back. just came so far. Okay, next. Marth. I like this Marth. art. Marth. It's fine. Doesn't do much for you? I, I mean, it's fine. I, I just feel like Wadasachiko did a very good job capturing him with the initial art. But your boy just looks better in white. I'm sorry. I, I mean, I have the resplendent on him. Me I too. I don't use mine, so it doesn't really matter, but... True. Yeah. I, I just... This is another one where the outfit, I feel like, is just better. I love... Yeah. The uh, Asker, the wings, lots of wings. It fits him too. It really does. The attack pose is nice. The special pose, mm -hmm. beautiful. Look at these sparkles glitter. I appreciate the sparkles. Thank you. Uh, above Lind for me. Okay. You like that? Sure. No, be be honest. No, truly, I don't have a very strong opinion on this art, so I'm I'm fine. Yeah, I think that's good. Oh no. We're here. You ready? Oh, God. Here we are. Here we are. Ugh. <laughs> Don't... Ugh. Ugh, no. I She's will, ugh, still our they daughter. they massacred my daughter. They massacred no. her. That's my daughter. Okay. And they did that to her. They shrunk her. Okay, wait. Think about it, though. This design is one of the best designs. I love this outfit so much. But I wish she wasn't 12. I really do. Because if this... Think of base Lucina's art, which is already perfect, right? Yes. Put this outfit on her base, and it's like a, an 11 out of 10. If if this was a child banner, great. Awesome. Give her a baby voice. Fine. It's it's like one of those things. I remember during the art ranking stream I did with Shango, it was like, mm -hmm. we love Faye, because like she, it, this style fits Faye so much, but like when it's on Ray, he just mm -hmm. looks like a little munchkin, and it looks dumb. So yeah. Th yeah, this is one of the most disliked resplendents, and I feel bad for the artist, because... You know, it's it's honestly really nice. It's just that the fact that he made her a child that um, I think it angered the, a lot of people. The colors are lovely, yes. but there was zero reason to make her a small child. I still think this is one of the best designs. I think that's fair to say, for me at least. Like her sprite, if you just look at the sprite, it looks good because you can't tell she's a baby. It is what it is. Yeah, too much uh, underaged armpit for my liking. Uh, we're going to go with D tier. <laughs> yep. Sorry. I'm sorry, baby girl. I didn't mean it. Niles. Niles the Destroyer. I think this is a big upgrade from his base art. 
You know what my issue is with this art? Every time I pull him, I think he's a five star. Exactly. Every single time I think he's a five star because he's it's so fancy. <laughs> it's extremely fancy. There's another case where uh, the saturation is also hurting my eyes a bit. I don't know what it is. Awesome. It's just so many bright colors. Well, and it's such a it's such a contrast from his initial art that was so washed out. It was extremely but washed out. I'm glad this, you remember. This captures his essence, and I appreciate yeah. that. I just wish I didn't think it was a five star every time I pulled him. <laughs> I love his attack pose. Even damage pose looks good. But too many colors for Speedy Hawk. This one, I still use this resplendent over the original. I'm going to say. I do too. Uh, I want to put I him. I think bottom of A. I want to put Yeah, I was going to say bottom of, a, bottom of A or top of B. I think bottom of you A pick. is fair. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you like this version of Delphia that's coming up. Snaggletooth. She's so cute. She's adorable. I don't know how I feel about the art with the resplendent. She feels like she's bent. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I, honestly, I like her base art very, very much. Me too. And I use her base art because I think it's perfect. And I think it's one of the rare yes. cases where Mimabe Sakura, like their style absolutely fits the character. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Compared to base Echo's Delthea, like I prefer Echo's Delthea over Hero's Delthea. Yeah. You know? I love Delthea. Yeah, me too. She's she's really great. Another uh, Salfamire. I don't know. If, I forgot how to say it already. But this is another one where I don't use it over the base. Even though it's acceptable art, yeah, I, I do like the art a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of cute. It's got the um, Dokalfamer design. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice. It's like the Dark Fairy. They are two separate worlds. It took me yeah. a while to realize that. This art still, I think, is really good. But it's, yeah. it's like, I prefer base Delthea's outfit. I do, too. I have an attachment to base Delthea because, like, back in the F2P days, she was one of the first five stars that I got that was really good. Yeah. And I used her so much, and I I also just loved her character in Echoes, so I have like an unreasonable attachment. I still prefer the base though, based on design. Yeah. And uh, that makes it maybe A or B. I think A or B. Yeah. I kind of like Ike more. Uh, I, that's the thing. I'm conflicted. I think I like Delthea more than Ike. Okay, I'll let you I'll do what you will. It's fine. No, it this this is our tier list, so this is good. Okay. Right above <laughs> above Julia, right? Okay. Do you want to put her below Julia? When you say K, it's very, no. it's very passive aggressive. No, either one. <laughs> I, I didn't mean her to be passive aggressive. My goodness. It's okay. It's okay. Let's move on. S tier. It's time. S tier. S tier. Listen. S tier. He's not wearing a turtleneck. Number one. Number two. Okay. This is gorgeous. I know I said I don't like it's... making characters jelly, but it just works for this guy for some reason. It is some of the best art in the entire game. It's so awesome it made me care about eldigan i mean i already cared about eldigan i thought he was sick i mean i liked him but now i really really like him <laughs> i really like him look at this attack pose he's so cool look at him and just the color scheme is so perfect with his hair that art i wish his sword was glowing red like mistletane drinking yes. blood but um i guess it would be mm. too much red and oh uh, i just love the cape he's straight he's it's a castlevania so character like straight up Yes. It's so it's awesome. So good. I think this is an S tier. And in fact, I decked out my Eldigan because of this art when he came out. You did? Yes. Is he but the question is, is he above Ellawood? Personally, yes, for me. I think this Honestly, is Honestly, I love this art so much. I love it more than Ellawood's art. The yes. reason Ellawood is so high as high as he is, is because it was such a leap. <laughs> yes, yes. From his base. I want to put this Eldigan above Ellawood. I yes, think, I agree. I think hands down, this might be my favorite one. It might be my favorite. Do you want to make a new tier? We can make an SS tier. <laughs> an Eldigan tier. <laughs> we can make an Eldigan tier. Okay. I think that's enough about Eldigan. Um, I think a lot of yeah. people had the same reaction. Agreed. That he was just like, whoa, like this is amazing. Yeah. Okay, next up. Tiki. Tiki. She's so cute. She is cute. But um, I'm going to be real with you. Mm -hmm. I still use base Tiki. Really? I think base Tiki is cuter, and I think it fits her better. Oh, I like them both. That's fair. I don't hate this. No. If I had one complaint, the head shape. She she's a pumpkin head in this one yeah. <laughs> compared to her base. <laughs> so it, it's a little off putting seeing her head look like it's gonna inflate and explode eventually. Also the color scheme. I just love Pinky's uh not Pinky Tiki's pink dress. I think it's like yeah. kind of iconic for her. It is. Yeah. This is, and this is a bit muted. Not, there's, I like muted better than saturated. 
personally. Mm. But there's, it's just base Tiki, I think, is... It, sure. it really captures her cute essence. Like, Mama, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put this one, to like, top of B, maybe? Maybe, like, below Julia? I agree, yeah. I think that's fair. Do you, you said you use this Tiki? I do. Okay. I like them both, so I don't have, like, a super strong preference. This was another one where the animation really influenced me, like Takumi. Yeah. T Tiki was the first five star I pulled. Like Aww. my very first pull ever in Faye, I got Tiki. That's like I got really amazing. lucky. And I was just like, wow, like, this <laughs> game, they give you a free five star in this game. That's amazing. But that wasn't the case. I just got Aww. really lucky. Ike. You ready to be controversial? Yes, because I also don't like this. <laughs> 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 Number one, CYL Ike's art, amazing already. Thank you, thank you. It was supposed to be special, and it was. It, yes, absolutely. This is supposed to be um, the Giants, right? I think. What are they called again? Jotunder? Jotunheimer? Jo 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 jo. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I'm really bad with Norse names, guys. There's nothing wrong with this art, but it's just one of those yeah. things where it didn't really imp change much from the base. Mm -hmm. It just gave him, like, a tighter shirt. <laughs> I mean, I'm the target audience, and... I was bothered by it because CYL is supposed to be special and give them that different art and it made it feel less special that they're changing it again. I think I'm the only one that feels no, that way. No, you're but... absolutely justified in feeling that way. And we already got Ike. Like, this is the second Ike we got. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it just... Like, we all like Ike. Yeah. We do. He's great. But I loved the regular art. Me too. I think the regular art was perfect for a tribute to Grail, um, if that's fair yes. to say. It was special. Yeah, so, you know, it, it's very clean art. I have nothing wrong with it, but it's more of the principle yeah. of it where it's just like, mm -hmm. I think the original's still better, and it was just, it felt like mm -hmm. wasted effort on IS's part. Mm -hmm. And did Ike really need two more stats? I, it was like, he's, he's one of the, <laughs> I know he was he's one of the so year broken. one characters that are still like good, you know? <laughs> I want to put him above all. Agreed. We're going to upset a lot of people today. Sorry, guys, but d just use base hike, okay? I think Glitter and I both use base bike. Yep. And I think you should, too. Out of respect for Grail, you should. Grail was a great man. He was a soft-spoken man, and he was a great man. Okay. Tana. I think we're going to disagree on this. Well, how do you feel? I like it. Okay. I know a lot of people hate it. No, I don't hate it at all. This is one of the ones I really, when I first saw it, I was like, oh my god, this is amazing, you know? Mm -hmm. But then I just look at base Tana, and I'm like, wait, this is already perfection. I'm like, we... Oh, <laughs> we Q-Boon, that's why. Like, it's not because of her boobs, I'm sorry. But, like, everything, it just looks better. I swear, I'm not being a pervert here. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I feel like a lot of the fairy designs are very hit or miss. But I feel like this was one of the good ones. Yeah, I agree. This is one of the good ones. But, like, look how perfect her base are. I love Tana's base design from Sacred Stones. The pink and the blue. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just an amazing representation of her. That Q-Boon art is fantastic. A tier? Yeah, I, I think I put this above s Marth, even. I don't know. How do you feel? I would. Yes, yeah. I agree. I think, I think it goes there. But I still yep. use base because I think base is perfection. All right, Elinkia. Best girl. I love Elinkia, and this is literally the only fairy alt I use. Mm -hmm. I think the colors are perfect for her. The orange, she already wears like orange and yellow in most mm -hmm. of her art. The green matches her hair. This looks like what Elinkia is supposed to look like. No offense, Kipu, but this represents Elinkia yeah. so much better than the base. <sighs> this is tough. Do you use base Elinkia over this? I use base Alencia because it is one of my favorite pieces of art in the entire game. It's so cute, but I just think this looks more like Alencia. I love, I much prefer her hair color in this because yes. it really should be that emerald green. I think this art is gorgeous and I actually kind of go back and forth, but at the end of the day, the Kipu art is so special to me that I prefer it just a tiny bit more, but it is gorgeous art. You know what I'm going to say to you, Glitter? What? Facts don't care about your feelings. This Alencia is better. <laughs> Even though we disagree, do you still rate her highly? I would put her in S tier. I love I love both pieces of art. I think I put her above Cordelia. Yeah, I would. S tier for an S tier, S -tier. character. Okay, this is also controversial because I feel like I'm the only person who doesn't like this Resplendent. Oh, I don't either. Oh, okay. I'm glad we agree. Two people. There's two. Uh, there's at least <laughs> two of us. I hope Promise isn't watching. Uh, if you are, Sorry. please turn the video off for like two minutes. 
Reinhardt. Did this need to happen? First of all, no. Second of all, Reinhardt looks way better in black. Let, let's just put Cube. I, I know I am a fanboy of Cuboon, but goddamn, Cuboon Reinhardt, like it's so good. It's so good that he got two of them. I love his tiny hands. I, I don't care if they're tiny. Like <laughs> this art is so good. It's so iconic. He looks stocky. Yeah. It, it, I hate his pointy shoes. I, I think he looks better in black. <laughs> his hands might be more normal sized, but his head's kind of tiny. Yeah. I miss his tiny hands. And I just don't like the way the silhouette that this outfit gives his body. Yeah. It's like the parachute pant, pants effect, you know? <laughs> I actually use the resplendent, but I, I mean, I don't really use him much at all. So, but I do prefer the original. Me too. I dropped him because I had like ethics. Because like back, back yes. in the day, Reinhardt was, I mean, he's still a terror, but my God, he yeah. was everywhere and he was so annoying that when Inigo came out, they're like, we are saved. Like <laughs> with the green Inigo. Yes. I still have a Raven Tome on mine. Yeah, just to counter Reinhardt. Uh, so yep. yeah, not a big fan of him getting more stats. Let's look at his other poses because it might just be this pose that I don't like. I mean, this attack pose is pretty good. Not, I think it bad. fixes my issue with the, the silhouette. Yeah, that's really pretty. That's nice. No, I still prefer base though. Sorry, guys. And there's something about like the shine on his hair. It like throws. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm being too hypercritical. I still love you, artist of <laughs> Resplendent Reinhardt. But I want to put this one kind of low. See? Above Ike, maybe. Maybe below Ike. I would say below. Above Alm? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's yeah. fair. That's a C tier for me. Okie dokie. It's Micaiah. Other best girl. Look at her bird. Her. It's so cute. Oh, Yune. Hush, Yune. I, listen, Makai is one of my favorite characters. The first time I really wailed in Heroes, I told Shango, like, when Makaya gets added to the game, I'm going to plus tenor, like, right off the bat. I don't care. First day, first hour, I will plus tenor. When I saw Makaya's base art, I'm going to be honest. At, mm -hmm. at the time, I was like, oh, it looks so good. Like, it's perfect. But something about her neutral pose, like, my heart sank a little bit. Really? Yeah, like her chin. Oh, I think it's pretty. I think I think the rest of her poses are very pretty. Her her chin is just so pointy here that it's just like oh, you know. Oh. You ever notice that? I did not notice that. Well, you're not gonna be able to unsee it now. I still love it. No, I love it too, just because I love base Makaya's outfit, like the yeah. tier one Makaya from Radiant Dawn. Like yeah. this art, this is the art I fell Gorgeous. in love with. This is what justified Perfect. my plus ten, the attack yes. art. The base pose, something about it made me very upset. And mm. with this resplendent, it, it fixed that problem for me. I love this. It's beautiful. I have one gripe. Okay. <laughs> it's just that she sounds really depressed when she's talking now. Oh, really? I yes. mean, she's supposed to be depressed. <laughs> That's her character. I know, she's like a but snarky, like, she depressed extra girl. depressed. But it's beautiful, and I would put it in A or S. Thank you. I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Um, I, def I use this art over base Micaiah. I, I rank this A or S. I would put it above... For me personally, I put it above Cordelia. Um, okay. You think that's fair? Yeah. All right. We're almost there, Glitter. We're doing great. Okay. Sorry. I have like 24% left of my battery. Oh my God. We'll make it. Little Lena. I love her. I love her too. It's beautiful. I actually liked her regular art too, though. I love that they went with Moose Bell for this because her dad also got that and fire is perfect for her. And I do use this resplendent over the original, even though I love the original so much. I do too. Like this attack pose, I love the way she looks in this attack pose. Like it's her fantastic. face, it's so great. Yeah. So um, I rank this pretty high. Obviously, I'm biased because th this month that Makai and Lalina came out back to back, it was a great month for me. It was a good month. I put her below Makai above Cordelia. I don't know how you feel. Agreed. I think this is just a better. It's like close enough to the original that I still love it and feel like it's the yeah. original design. And mm -hmm. I just think it's a style that fits her even more than Bun Bun's even. Even though Bun, Bun Bun's uh, damaged pose, I think, or special pose, mm -hmm. the one where she's yeah. like like kind of hunched over, it looks so good. Yeah, it's the damaged. Like yeah. this one. It's so well done. Even the like the special pose, like I love the shading. And like the reflection in her eyes. Yeah, the reflections, exactly. But yes, I love this resplendent even more. I think it fits nicely. All right, next one. One of my least favorites, actually. Leaf. Oh, Leaf. 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 So I love base Leaf. Yes, same. I did not like this art. 
What about it? The face. The face. It's that's the, face. the it's the thing. That's the problem I have with it. I'm glad we agree. <laughs> and you know, it's not just because turquoise is a girl's color. I think it works here. <laughs> I think the colors work fine here. Yeah, it's just the face. Because I love Leaf, and I feel like his base art captured him very well. Exactly. I think it's the perfect representation of Thracia 70, 76, 70. His attack pose is better. It's better, but just I have to look at the neutral, and I can't. Yeah. It's it's like when Quan came, Quan had this problem, too, where base Quan was perfect, and then Dancer Quan came out, and I was like, who is this man? <laughs> like, it, do yeah. it doesn't look like yeah. him. <laughs> Base leaf, I think, is already perfection IMO. I I had a lot of people disagree. They think this leaf is great, like, during streams and stuff. Yeah. But uh, for me... A lot of people really like it. Yeah, so this is where people might jump off the train 40 minutes I into the video. I think they've already jumped off. Yeah, so this leaf, <laughs> probably top of C. I agree. Yeah, okay, top of C for leaf. You use base, obviously. I do, too. That's great. Okie dokie. Sorry, guys. Next is Nino. Nino. I know Nino's base art is like very iconic for her, the Amai Gai Taro style, but mm -hmm. this is just an improvement in my opinion. I don't know how you feel. Mm. Honestly, I don't really care that much. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well. I, I, I mean, I'm not a huge fan, but I think that the Amai Gai Taro art is good. I use that. But she's so, I just think this is so well done. You know, even though I don't think the, I mean, maybe the black does fit her because she's part of the black fang. Yeah. I think I like her base outfit more, but just the style that she's drawn in, I think it's great. I like the damage art. And like the, the reflection of the purple on her hair. I think it looks really good. I don't know. I like Amagai Taro, though. But I, don't, I just think that the Respondent's such a big step up. Not big, because the original was good, but it was a step up, you know? Mm -hmm. So I want to mm -hmm. rank this one kind of high, like maybe top of B. Okay. What would you say? We can go with B. No, Glitter. <laughs> I need your input. What would you say? Uh, I would put her somewhere in B. I don't know about top. Well, knowing me, I would put her uh, probably above Ju probably above Tiki even. Okay. Where would you put her? Not. I honestly would not even put her in B, but I'm totally fine with B. You would put her in C? I would, but we're going to put her in what, B. What's it's your totally reasoning? Fine. I want to hear. Is it just like bland? I just I just much prefer Amagai Taro, and I, this art didn't really just jump out to me. Okay. I don't know. No, it's fine. I mean, sometimes it's hard to explain, like, just a gut feeling, you know? All right. I'm going to put her above Roy between Julia and Roy. Okay. I'm sorry, Glitter. It is totally fine. Oh, boy. Everybody's favorite. S. S tier, really? S. Crom? Let's not, let's not go overboard here. <gasps> I'm just kidding. That's It's one. It's like an Elowood Cordelia case. <laughs> if I had one complaint, it's the Hector problem with the colors. It's very bright. Mm. That's what you get with Moose Bell. Yeah. Flames. I just don't think blue, gold, orange, red, and yellow work together. <laughs> like, I don't know. Well. Like, Niles, Niles, Hector, and Krom, like, I have the same problem. But, um, yeah. I think this style is so much better than Ebola. I use it. Mm -hmm. uh, he actually I has muscles, too. which is great. Yes. This is the Krom we deserved. You know, I think it's fair to put Krom and Cordelia next to each other. Yes. Or would you put him above any of these? Like, be honest. Do you think this Krom deserves to go I, above? I would put him above Lilina, actually, but that's just me. I I'm still fine am this. bothered by the colors, but okay. I think I like the style better. Yeah. So I could, I could, we can I'll could, i compromise. No, 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 I'll compromise. Because I do, I do like the style better, but I just think the colors are... It was are... such a huge step up. Agreed. Okay, we got a fairy. Celica. Celica, speak to me. <laughs> Celica. Oh. Um. <laughs> Do you, do you like base Celica? First question. I adore base Celica. She is one of my favorites. So I switched back. I switched back too. <laughs> I like this outfit yes. a lot. I think it's very cute. But I just think base mm -hmm. Celica captures her better. Yep. So this is a, another like Delphia instance here, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't. It's just like I Same think. Same thing with Erica. Erica too. Yeah, exactly. Like I love I love the design. I think the art's really well done, but I just something about it just doesn't make me want to use it. Yeah, looking at her attack pose and uh, the damage, I'm still going to say base is better. And uh, It doesn't scream Celica to me. I don't know why. It doesn't. I would say A tier for the Celica, maybe B. I'd say B. Okay. I want to put her above Delthea, I yeah, think. Yeah, I agree. Okay. I think that's good. Merrick. Merrick. Woo! Do you like? It's really good art. But. It's just that it's Merrick. <laughs> oh no i think it's actually a huge upgrade i gotta be honest i think everybody feels this way but um base merrick when you got pity broke by him at a five star mm -hmm. like it just instilled hatred in a lot of people <laughs> i'm still better he looks like a goddamn dumb hobbit i hate him i hate the base 
<laughs> this looks so oh good. And it gave him his hat back. Yes. I think a lot of people were very happy about his hat. It's it's fantastic art. At least A. Look at this attack pose. He's so happy. He's like, yeah. He's so oh, happy. But here he's angry. Oh. He's like, look, I can't I can't pity break you anymore. <laughs> like me. So yes, big step up. Even if I think his hat and his arm pads look shoulder pads look very dumb, I think this is a big step up. Okay? So uh Yep. What would you say? Sorry, you said something before? I think A. I think A is very fair. I also think I would put him probably above Marth, maybe. Agreed. Amelia, how do you feel about this? I think this is going to be very controversial. I do not like this art. And can you explain your reasoning? I think that because Amagaitaro <laughs> did the base, and I love Amagaitaro's art. The, see, the, I think I'm not alone in feeling this way, but a lot of Amagaitaro's art, it has... I, I hate saying same face. It became a meme with Jacob and Seth. That he had same yeah, face disease. Yeah. But every, I, I see it. When I see Amagai Taro's other pieces, I just think of Nino. Yeah. I, I love this design. I think it's great. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't really represent what Amelia would be yeah. in Sacred Stones. But I just love this outfit and the cape and like even the armor too. I think it's good. My favorite part, I'm sure a lot of people, the attack pose. The attack? The attack yeah. pose is just so dynamic and it looks amazing. So the combination of like, mm -hmm. look, oh, I, I could feel the momentum. Her legs are, yeah. it's like a cartoon. It looks so good. <laughs> so I want to rate this kind of high, even though you might not like it. That's totally fine. I, I recognize that a lot of people enjoy it. Do you think the art style is like not great? It doesn't scream Amelia to me. I don't know why. I want to put her above Merrick, but you be honest where you want to put her and I'll consider. You can put her wherever you want. No, you, say your opinion, please. No, I mean, I wouldn't. If it if it were just mine, I wouldn't put her that high. But you can put her in A. It's totally well, fine. Where, how low would you put her? Is what I want to know. I would have put her in C, but C. <laughs> A is totally fine because I recognize that it's good art, and people do enjoy it very much. I just personally don't think it captures Amelia. Okay. We're, we're putting her there. That's good. No, I could move her. We can we can it's compromise. Nope, put her, keep her this there. is our keep tier list glitter. Nope. Keep her there. Okay. More more jelly for me. S. Honestly? Above Ellawood. I'd, I'd put him above Ellawood. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm glad we agree. <laughs> oh, this is what... When I saw this raven... Okay, no offense to Akira. I think that was the base raven artist. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, like I said, the style did not fit in with the rest of the cast. When I first yep. saw Raven in Heroes, I said, mm -hmm. who is that? But this yes. is... This is... It screams raven. The colors it's are perfection. perfect. Look at his art. Like, it's the attack pose. Ugh. The it's special Raven. It's so good. It's him. All they need to do to make this better is make him do a flip like his sprite when he yep. when he does a special. Toss his thing in the air and do a flip. Exactly. I rate this extremely highly. I. It's funny. I said I don't like the hell style, but the two of my favorite respondents in this game yeah. have been hell style, which means it can work. It just doesn't work when Robin wants to eat shit. <laughs> Boom. Perfection. I still rank Eldigan a bit higher, but... Yes. Man, do I love this art. And that's part of the reason why I'm plus 10 him. Here's my build. Check it out. I killed a lot of CYL units <laughs> for this. Now, don't break anyone's hearts with this next one. Oh, boy. I'm going to hurt someone's feelings. What do you think? The face. I still think it's a step up from the original okay. Sonya. Do you disagree? So I love Sonya's neutral art, her base. Do you? I do not like her attack face. Yeah, I, th I do like her neutral face a lot. This artist, Yura, they, they did a bunch of characters, and I think a lot of people, like, kind of... Like, I think he did Raisin, he or she. There's something about the faces. Yeah, like, Clarice, Navarre, Raisin. I see it, yeah. It's not, like, a same face problem, but it's, like, this face doesn't look like what the character should be. Yeah. I think a lot of people felt that way. I don't like her face. I feel like it it doesn't capture so... Okay, that's fine. The, the damage art, her face looks a little bit more like her, but... Something about her base... This this face doesn't capture it. The outfit is perfect. It's it's a very Sonya thing to wear, but it's just the face is is off to me. Would you put her in A? Hmm. Probably bottom of A. Yeah. I kind of I kind of see what you're saying about the face. I would probably put her above Niles, but I don't okay. know how you feel. Would you put her lower? You can put her there. That's fine. Okay. If you don't want to voice your opinion, it's fine. <laughs> Boom. I don't feel super strongly about that one. Okay. Tail to you. Love her. I love this so much. S. S tier? Hmm, let it's me think. It's so fun. She doesn't look like a Pokemon anymore. 
Okay, you know, a lot of people said Esper. <laughs> is that the, is yes. that, you do know of yes. Esper, right? Okay, <laughs> I yeah. actually still liked it, but. Yeah, I liked Tail 2's base too, but it did feel a little out of place. Her eyes kind of felt uh, like she was staring into your soul and it was some, it was a bit yes. much, but this art is. It's a beautiful rendition and it's Kaya 8. Kaya 8's my favorite artist in the game and um. Yeah, I'm I plus just, tending mine because of this. Yeah, I think I think her outfit is gorgeous, and I think the art fits her so much better than her original that I will put this in S tier. Mm -hmm. And Tail Two is Fe Four Best Girl. It's a fact. Next to Ethlyn, it goes Tail Two, Ethlyn, then Bridget, and then the rest. I don't care. <laughs> and the rest. Ah, oh, geez, I kind of want to put her. No, it's so it's so tough. I kind of want to put her above like Sheeta, maybe like below yeah, Sheeta. It's so good. What do you think? Yeah. Below or above? Either one. I think I want to put it above. Okay. So. It's so cool. Do you like this a lot? I adore it. Okay. I I think I feel really differently. So why don't you start? Oh. No, I just love the detail. I think it still looks like him, which I appreciate. Although I, I like his base art too. So. Mm -hmm. I think his base art's really good. Agreed. I hate targeting artists. I really do. Mm -hmm. But. Okay. I'm sorry, Daisuke Izuka. I just don't really like... <laughs> I don't like the proportions of the heads that Daisuke Izuka draws. I okay. feel like they're very elongated and narrow. It's another thing, like, I don't think they changed his outfit up enough where I'm like, wow, like, I'm glad I'm paying wow. for Fae Pass this month. Gotcha. They just gave him a black vest and put, like, a shield... Put the he put a shield on his hips. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but this is going to be one of those ones where I just go back to base, I think, because I think it just represents oh, Soth okay. better. I, I'm going to use this, so... Okay. I think we differ a little bit. That's fine. Uh, I'm not, like, in love with base Soth, you know? Where would you put him, and I will compromise? I would put him bottom of A. Bottom of A. I think that's fair. I would probably put him, okay. like... I would probably put him above Roy. I think that's the cutoff gotcha. for me. Gotcha. Because, like, I honestly... If you look at this tier list, the split between yeah. Nino and Roy is when I go from I like it to like uh, I'm not really feeling it, you know. <laughs> so I would put him above, just right above Roy. But um, just it, when I saw it, I was just like, ah, bored. That yeah. that was my response. I wasn't like, oh, this looks terrible. <laughs> but I was like, ah, okay, I guess it's so. All right, and, and next is Shanna. There she is. Yeah, I kind of desperation. <laughs> A really odd pick. Can't imagine that she's a very popular character. I'm sure some people were very happy about this. Yeah. She did get a bridal alt this year, too. That's true. But what do you think about this art? I am not a huge fan of the outfit itself. Honestly, I prefer her original. Yeah, I, I feel like light colors work better on her than the dark and gold. This this isn't Hako art, is it? No, this is um Miwabe Sakura, I think. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, I, I just love Hako's art so much that this is not this is cute, but it's not the same. I don't know. It's her eyes look like bug-eyed in the, uh, not bug-eyed, but like too far apart in the attack poses. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And uh, the damage is fine. I, I don't have any complaints. Yeah, I don't know. I prefer the original Shanna too. So this really isn't doing much for me. Yeah, pretty average. What do you think? Like B tier? I think B tier. Okay. I'll put her... I'm sorry to... Sorry to all the Shanna fans. All two of you. Oh. <laughs> I'll put her above Azura. All right? Does that sound fair? Okay. Sure. Because at least Roy, you know, I can't complain about his proportions with his face. <laughs> all right. Next, we have Kagero. What do you th What do you think about the melons glitter? Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice it until it was pointed out to me, and now that is what I see. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I like... The butterfly wings, I think they're great. And compared to the original Kagero alt, I like the way this Kagero is drawn a lot better than a uh, lax Kagero. You know, it it does look pretty similar to me, but I do appreciate the way her um, her scarf kind of flows into those wings. I do like. Yeah, that. that's a that's a neat design. And um, you know, yeah. this the target audience is me, not you, glitter. And I can't complain <laughs> here. I I'm satisfied. That's all I'm going to say. I would say she's fine. <laughs> she's good just for her. fine. I think this is a good <laughs> resplendent. I really like the design. I think the art's well done. And it makes me want to plus 10 Akagura. Oh, good for you. Thank you. <laughs> so what are you thinking? Are you going to leave this up to me? I feel like 
I should probably leave it up to you because, again, I am not the target audience. I don't <laughs> dislike her, but I think she is, she's okay. Good for her. Okay. Just okay. <laughs> do you want to put her in A? I feel like you want to put her in A. I do. Okay. I'll put her... I kind of want to put her pretty high, actually. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of want to put her like above Sonicy. Above Olwyn? Yeah, I really? like this better than Olwyn's. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Are you compl <laughs> you you complained about Olwyn's dump truck? Well, you didn't complain, but I pointed I it out, not. and you got uncomfortable. Uh <laughs> okay, so you know you can't you can't blame me. I think this is a better respondent than you know Sonicy Lynn Olwyn. I think it's fine. Well, it's it's a joint tier list, so sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Glitter. All right, so she's okay. going right above Sonicy. All right. All right. Next is your favorite. Best girl. That's Thank right. Thank you, IS. I can't believe they actually gave her resplendent. All twelve of us who love her are so excited <laughs> that she is here. <laughs> and I love this art. I think the nipple design goes so well with Sarah. Her sprite is super cute too. I guess I could try and put that on the screen. The outfit just fits her really nicely. It does. I like the way she's drawn, even though her eyes are kind of far apart in this neutral pose. I think overall, mm -hmm. she's drawn in a better style than the original Sarah. Her attack animation, I feel like, is much better with the resplendent form. Yes. Um, I do like her, her neutral basic form, just with her old one. Um, but I love this new one, too. And I love how they took her original design and kind of just made it a little bit niffle, but you could still tell that it was her. Yeah. Now all she needs is a PRF staff and like she's perfect. Please. Like this moon Please staff that you. she has in the art. <laughs> I like this art. I think it's a big upgrade from the original Sarah. So, you know, because mm -hmm. we're biased here and she is your favorite, I'm willing to put her in S tier. Thank you. But the catch is the bottom of S tier. Ugh. <laughs> really? Just not like even a little bit to the left? Okay, who would you put her above here? Well, I mean, almost everyone, but... <laughs> Whoa, really? <laughs> I okay. like her... We'll put her above Ellawood would... then. <laughs> it's a compromise though so how about in front of lilina you okay huh. still there yeah no i'm thinking you know fine <laughs> okay above lilina thank you That's guys just know this tier list is extremely biased um I'm, the integrity has been ruined <laughs> 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 yeah i think it's good i think it's good. okay uh we were both kind of underwhelmed by this one when we talked about it but uh ryoma there he is yeah. Oh boy, he looks he looks like an anemic lobster. Too skinny for you? <laughs> he no, he's look so bad. pale. <laughs> oh, does anemic mean pale? I thought it meant like your blood Ah, whatever. People that you know, are anemic tend to be pale. <laughs> okay, true. Yeah, I don't know. I like the white. I just think Ryoma's like samurai armor fits him because he has such a iconic design. I agree. The face is a little bit different. Yeah, he looks kind of off like the face i don't know i, I can't I really pinpoint it i don't know what it is i just know i prefer the original over this honestly i just feel like the original is so dynamic and vibrant and i feel like it's just kind of lost here yeah he he feels kind of i don't want to use the word stiff because like his poses don't look stiff like his sword is super cool in the attack and special pose and damage uh -huh. pose when i say stiff i just mean his like proportions if that makes mm -hmm. sense yeah I don't, he just doesn't look very flexible. I don't know. I switched back to the original. Oh, uh, yeah, me too. But, yeah, I'm just kind of underwhelmed overall, so... And I like Ryoma. And it's Matt Mercer. You wouldn't put him as low as C tier, would you? No. I would put him pro... I know, like, Roy's the cutoff. Uh, I'd put him below Roy. I I'd would. put him, like, above, Sh above Shanna below Roy. Okay. That sounds fair to you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, like, I don't have a huge problem with Ryoma. He's, he's just like, okay, he's here. But, like, Shanna, I have a problem. Azura has a creepy face. Hector's a doge. Erica is a Barbie <laughs> doll. Like, the, once, you, <laughs> once you go beyond the Shanna line, that's where I start to have issues. Okay. <laughs> and then for our final resplendent that just got announced recently. So I don't have good art of it to show on the screen. You're going to get, like, the one you get from the website. Yes, but we've seen it. We've seen it. It's Noe. It's Noe. She always sparks controversy, but can we just ignore the fact that she's showing too much skin and just appreciate the art for what it is, or are we not able to do that? No, that's fine. Okay. I, I don't mind Noe, actually. I don't I don't mind her terribly either. The Halloween one was kind of, 
a little bit too much with the poses, yeah. but like overall, like I'm fine with Noe, whatever. Noe is what she is, and now she's Moose Bell. She's got a ponytail. I love the accessory on her ponytail. What would you call that? Like a scrunchie? Yeah. It's good. I like I like this outfit a lot. Um, but besides the fact that she's showing too much skin, I actually saw an edit by Fedison where he like put uh -huh. the material on her arms and legs over her belly, and it looked pretty mm -hmm. good. It was actually super well done. I saw it. Yeah, you saw that it. too, right? <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, I I like this outfit, and I think the art style is way better Ooh. than the original. She looks like an alien in an original art to me. Oh, <laughs> no offense, but we only have this Snowy and the Halloween one, right? I think so. Which is surprising, actually. Yeah, you would think she'd be more popular. Yeah. I think this is the best drawn Noe we have. I agree. Yeah, regardless, I, I give this a good grade. I would say it's an A-tier resplendent for me. I think so. Do you actually, or are you just agree? Well, I would probably put it top of B, but I'm fine with A. I like her better than... You're not going to like the old one. All right, Sonya. I, I, I like this one better than Sonya's. I, I also like her better than Sonya, but I'm not a huge fan of Sonya's art overall. Okay, what about like Niles and Soth? Because we have them below. Well, I think Noe's is that's better. That's fine. I think I agree. Yeah. Okay, cool. So yes. sh she'll go right there. And that's our last one until this gets outdated in like a week. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the tier list, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, put in the comments down what you think about her terrible opinions. I'm sure people will be upset about like Leaf and Reinhardt and Robin and Takumi. Yeah, all the people that we badmouthed, but... <laughs> <laughs> but everybody but can agree. I hope that you enjoyed some of it. Yes. At least, you know, the discussion. It was good background noise for you guys. Yeah. But anyway, thank you, Glitter, for doing this with me for like two hours. God damn. But, uh, it was fun. Yeah, it was a good time. So yeah, please check out Glitter's what? channel, first of all. Go do that. Oh. <laughs> and then we'll catch you next time. So thanks for watching. And until then, Speedy Hawk and Glitter Valkyrie are out. Bye, guys. Bye.